So when it comes to crypto bot trading, there are three common mistakes that almost everyone does. Well, and how do I know this? Because I have been on the crypto space for about six years. And I also have a private crypto community called Crypto Bot Accelerator, where we have about 150 members. And well, these are the three most common mistakes beginners make when they want to get into the crypto market. So if you have been looking to make it in the crypto market, but it just feels impossible so far, then it's very likely you're making at least one of these mistakes. That being said, let's get started. So first mistake is not being patient. Oh my God, guys, I cannot tell you how many times I have seen members of my community or sometimes in myself where you just don't have the patience to go over the process and actually learn it properly and the thing is there is a huge misunderstanding when it comes to crypto thinking that you can make thousands of dollars and become a multimillionaire in just a month three months or even six months yeah for sure there are people that make that have made millions of dollars as a complete beginners but if you look at their stories it's like winning the lottery. Most of the times it doesn't go well right after they make the millions. Either they lose them or they spend it without any purpose. Before you even invest in any cryptocurrency, and that's even talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are supposed to be the safest, before you invest any money whatsoever on crypto, first, you need to invest in yourself. I cannot recall this. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be in my private crypto community. In fact, you probably can afford it. Start with something low. Start from the basics and then build things up. Understand what is crypto, what is market cap. Understand tokenomics and market evaluation on all of those things that will help you become profitable in the long term. Second mistake, not having a plan. Now, a plan is having a solid systematic approach on when to get in and when to get out. There are a ton of ways on how you can invest your money and make profits on the crypto space. But I'm going to talk about crypto about trading because, well, that is what we do inside CBA. We specialize on helping you make passive income launching crypto bots. So for example, the plan inside CVA is to help you find a profitable crypto coin that you can trade. We're going to help you go over the confirmations that the cryptocurrency is worth it. And finally, we're going to help you set up the crypto trading bot in a way that it's going to maximize profits and minimize risk. That is a plan, right? Following a step-by-step -step process. Then we show you as well, what are the entry confirmations you need and what are the exit confirmations you need to see as well in order to get out of the trade. Now, I'm talking here about crypto bot trading, but this applies as well if you're investing for the long or short term. Let's say you have $10,000 and you want to invest in Bitcoin. The first question you have to ask yourself is, what type of investment should I make? Should I do DCA, dollar cost average, or should I invest big part of my portfolio in one go? What is the better way to do? Well, that depends. Personally, I like to do DCA, where you buy small percentages of crypto every single day or every week or every month, right? Because one of the things that you will learn as a beginner is that time in the market is almost impossible. So have a systematic approach to things. Understand when you want to get in and what are the confirmations you want to do when you want to get in? What are the confirmations you need to see to get out? So let me give you a very, very easy example. For instance, you can start doing DCA dollar cost average on Bitcoin by investing um, $100 per week, every week, and then selling out a big percentage of your portfolio when Bitcoin hits uh, a new highest high or when it hits a very important resistance like 73,000. And mistake number three, which believe me, has cost me thousands and thousands of dollars, and that is being greedy. Yes, it is once you're making money, you want to keep making more and more and more until guess what? You lose it all. And it's very likely that if you're getting started, it's gonna happen to you. Now, it doesn't have to be that way, which is why I'm making this video in the first place, so you can avoid it. So, well, let's talk about the crypto bot trading side of things. Let's say we have a crypto bot running. This is what I tell my members inside CBA. If you have a bot running making you 1% daily and it has generated a total return of 
I don't know, 30% in one month. Should you still keep running that bot or should you shut it down and take your profits home? Well, there are two things you can do. First, you can shut it down, take your profits and well, have peace of mind that you made a 30% return or you can set up a stop loss close to market price. So if the cryptocurrency goes down in volume, you at least secure the profits. Might not be 30%, might be 25%, but something is something, right? So now, how can you apply these when it comes to other type of investments on the crypto side? Most of the times you have two options. You can either take 100% of your profits or you can take 50% of your profits and let the remaining of the investment run or trade. So what I recommend you to do is always keep that in mind. And of course, if you feel like things are gonna go down or even up in case that you're short in the market, take at least a 50% of your profits. Because believe me, the crypto market is so unpredictable that it's insane, which is the exact reason why we deploy crypto bots, because they manage to make money in the ups and downs of the market. All right, guys, so fun fact, when I was making this video, I literally changed the topic of the video. At the beginning, I was gonna talk about three mistakes you do when you're launching crypto bots, but I figure this should be something more for people that are just getting started on crypto. That being said, I hope you get value out of this video and you can avoid the mistakes that I made when I got started on crypto. If you're looking for a blueprint of step-by-step -step actions that you can take as well as the support by my team and me and just making sure that you are actually making progress and you have a whole success path from completely beginner to expert on crypto, then make sure to check the link in the description. It's gonna be a link for you to schedule a call with either me or somebody of my team and see if we can help you inside CBA. That being said, guys, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.